All of you are dead. Just like Freeran, she does not look happy to be here. Didn't want to kill all of you, but here we are. Episode 24, Perfect Replicas. Now he just lives in this tomb. But that's what we saw. This is the second time we've come across this, which is interesting. But this time, no guilt tripping. Uh, yeah, though, I've totally changed my mind. It was all fun and games, and great, and a cool test, until Freerun was there. There would probably be fewer casualties if you had designed it as a battle royale with one survivor. Except, I guess, that Freerun is also there. Like, will you even have time to use your escape gnome? If it's me, my gnome beaker is hitting the floor before the battle intro animation even ends. Before the boss's life bar can even load. This guy trying to mask his pleasure at the thought of all the suits getting ripped to shreds. It's not good. It is not good. It's terrible. You should, yeah, you should all, all use your bases. This also, like, finally we get to see what Freebird can do, because Freebird's always keeping things so close to the chest. Freebird never does more than she has to. This thing might. What happened to you? Oh no! Oh, but this is his. It's his. Wait, is this his copy? It's his copy, right? If she breaks it, does she just get let loose into the world? Yeah, that was my question. How close to level are they? Seems like they're pretty similar. That's my condition. But they don't talk. At least I can't expose your secrets. I have a feeling this might be the critical edge they need, or the critical edge they have that they can use to defeat these things. How did it know? I mean, but his real body's outside, right? I mean, tell me he didn't actually come into this exam, into this tomb. It's enjoying staring at the escape spell. Is it really him? <laughs> You're right. I'm with you. Oh, that's dark. That's a very My Hero Academia. That's a very My Interesting. Was that kindness from Yubel? I mean, if killing is fun, what's more kill fun than killing the greatest yourself? What edge can you possibly have in this situation, though? But oh, then again, what edge does the other one have? That's what I'm saying, yeah. What? what? <laughs> you gotta like grow in real time, real quick. Whoops. Why? Ah, nice. Awesome. Wow. I didn't realize you could replicate items too. It was, it was trust. I got you pegged. <laughs> See right through you. Your warm little heart. Your big softy. Oh no, oh no, oh no, she's figuring it out. I've let her in. Oh no, I just need to get the power, isn't she? Is, is this enough? Does this fulfill the condition? So it was all just manipulation. Or was it? 
Instead of treasure, you're gonna get a bunch of corpses. Thinking corpse, other student corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Freeman just imagines what she wants there to be in every situation, and it's always a grimoire. That map was so excellent. Don't you hate that when you know there's something and you have no idea how to get it? And you don't all, you also don't know if it's possible to get it at this stage in the game. So you stand there agonizing about it the whole time in the back of your mind. You don't want to devote that much energy to it because it could just be like an endgame thing. You need the game facts for this. Or you don't. That was the equivalent of Freerun mashing X on stuff. That must feel amazing. To discover something like this in real life. Okay, now give me my grimoire. No grimoire, it's a you gotta put something in there. Oh, you got a big storm coming. Oh, you got a big storm coming. Oh, you got a big storm coming. Oh, I just realized there could be Fern, too. Fear and Fern could fight Fear and Fern. And the, the Proctor. Oh, that was wise. That was wise. That was great. Yeah, there it is. Oh, she's happy. <laughs> Finally, a worthy challenge. Myself. Things are hella patient. Right, we got the crew at least. We got the squad. And Freerun is among the squad. That gives it the edge. Right, are you ready to reveal that? I feel like she would be. Though is she? Freerun keeps things very close to the chest. They said resistance, not immune. They all Im immediately go to free room defeating it, of course. Can you do one of those like Demon Souls hacks where you, you like attack it through the hole in the door without activating the, the boss fight? Hypnosis? Immune to hypnosis. Oh, she got jealous. Stop hugging my mommy. Alright, she can play support. Oh. Probably running run out of time here, right? <laughs> That's a gamble. Unless you do it through the little slit in the door. There she is. Oh, she got jealous. Sense, we don't know much about sense, though. Hair is wild. You're speaking very loudly. I can hear the echoes. Sounds like she's just trying to psych herself into giving up and getting out. It'd be really cool though if she then pulled this off. I was thinking later, I mean, I guess it's kind of obvious, but there's something with the magic being linked to what you can envision and the exam and one of the thematic underpinnings of the show. Your power being partly a function of what you can perceive yourself doing. You imagine the farther you push that, the, the faster you grow. There's something about personal ideals there. Although not a mage, I feel like we've seen this very clearly in Himmel, who, totally genuine or not, was very big picture, very North Star, very big on personal vision. Like with the whole sword thing, I'm gonna use this fake sword and make it the real sword type thing. Why don't you just give it a try and keep that thing really close at hand? Your little, your little golem, your beaker golem. It comes across. Condition X, condition. We'll take it. All we need is one punch. That's a long time in, in the Nen world. Oh, hello. Whoops! Wow. So that's what she does. She, she hairs. What about that is not fighting magic? <laughs> Oh, 
That's free Renan Fern. Whoops. Okay, Golem. Maybe now. Okay, now. Okay, since it's the real deal. It's first class mage. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. She doesn't have a mind. You can't use it. Damn it. I feel bad for ridiculing her about wanting to leave. That sucks. Get out of there. Okay, now it's, for real, now it's time to go. For real, now, stop! Just leave. It's time to leave. It's not worth it. It's just a license. Okay, good. Quickly, stop talking. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wonder what the limits of this thing are. It just, like, breaks the rules of the place. That's some powerful magic. Oh, this plays right into the vision thing. They, I mean, they were expecting to fail. Hypercollegiate discussion. She says gleefully. I thought you didn't like fighting. Something about this leaf wall that's looking awfully flimsy. They're not thinking and they can't talk. I mean, that's got to be the edge, right? If you're evenly matched across all, all power levels. It's a battle leader. You can figure this out. It's war hardened. <laughs> Look at you, Harry Potter. <laughs> little cute little wand. Huh. He envisioned something. Huh? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this, Ms. Freerin? <laughs> Proud of you, Fern. <laughs> Bold of you to say that. Confident of you. But I guess is there any greater honor than having your student kill yourself as a doppelganger? If Fern can kill doppelganger Freerin, forget the first class mage license. You've made it. Like in Hunter Hunter, they never seek rewards. The rewards just come because of their greatness. Obviously, it's such a great idea having Freerin be the last boss of this challenge, and maybe this season, as this really cute, lovely, sleepyhead, absolute bringer of death and annihilation. It also, it very directly comes to something that's been building in the show, where we don't really know that much about Freerin and Magically. We know she's a beast, but as the audience, we kind of get what her enemies get, which is only as much as we need to see to be defeated. There's a wellspring there. There's an untapped amount of power and resource that we don't know the depths of. We don't have a full picture of her magical strategy yet. We don't know what's at the root. We don't know what the weaknesses are. And it's very likely there's going to be some highly thematic stuff in there, since, you know, the magic is Nen, is life. So this is a really cool chance to explore Freerun as a character as well, despite just being a very cool set piece, action setup, etc. What is Freerun's fatal flaw? And what does it mean? What does it mean for Fern to know that and have surpassed it.